Hi, I'm Will from E3D, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can upgrade your Creality printer with a Revo CR hot end. If you want more information on Revo CR or any of the Rapid Change Revo lineup, you should head to our website, e3d-online.com. Feel free to follow along with this video as you upgrade your own machine, but for the most up-to-date information, you should also refer to our written instructions, which are available from our help center. We provided a link in the description. The process in this video can be followed when upgrading many Creality machines. Our written instructions show the upgrade on an Ender 3 Pro and have up-to-date information on all compatible machines. For this demonstration, we are actually using an Ender 3 V2, but the step-by-step -step process will be the same for many machines. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest upgrade guides, product launches and more. Let's get started. First, move your extruder to roughly the centre of the bed and around 100mm above your build plate. This will give you easier access to the hot end. Make sure there's no filament loaded and that the machine is turned off. Start by removing any cable ties around the hot end or wiring room, but be careful not to accidentally cut any wires. Next, take off the hot end cover. Make sure not to put any strain on the fan wires as you do this. You can rest this cover on the x-axis for now. Put the fixings somewhere safe as you'll be needing them later on. The length of screws will vary, so make sure to keep track of which order you put them in. Now you need to take off your existing hot end. First thing to do is remove the PTFE tube. This can be tricky as the tube often becomes stuck. If you are having issues removing the tube, another option is to cut the tube at the entrance to the hot end. If you choose to cut the tube, just make sure it's cut straight and not at an angle. Now you need to remove the hot end. For now, you should just rest the whole wiring loom on the print bed. The wiring should still all be connected at this stage, as we will be wiring up Revo CR next. Open the box and take out your Revo CR and the butt splice connectors. You will only need four of these connectors, but we have provided a fifth one as a spare. Place your Revo CR alongside the old hot end on the print bed. You can pull back on the wiring sleeve some of the way, but don't unplug anything from the board. Now identify the thermistor wires on both hot ends. The thermistor wire on your Revo hot end has white cables and is the shorter of the two cables. The thermistor wire on your old hot end can be identified by finding the smaller of the two cartridges. The colour of the wire may vary. Cut the Revo thermistor wires off close to the connector. Staggering the cuts is a good idea as it will make your cable management easier. Cut the old hot end wires off near the cartridge to give yourself plenty of wire to work with. Now take a butt splice connector and insert one wire from Revo CR and one from the wiring loom. The thermistor doesn't have a polarity, so you don't need to worry about which wire is which. Do not strip the wires before inserting them. This next part can be a little fiddly. You need to make sure the wires remain all the way inside the connector as you apply force to the button. This will ensure a good connection. Hold the connector and wires in one hand and a pair of pliers in the other, and use the pliers to press down on the top of the connector. Make sure the button is pressed all the way in. It is helpful to give the connector a second squeeze just to make sure it's properly engaged. Now you can repeat this process for the other thermistor connector, and then exactly the same for the heaters. With the new hot end wired in, we can reassemble. Lift the wiring loom, Revo CR and fan cover and drape the wires over the x-axis. You can rest the cover on the extrusion for now. Screw Revo CR back into the carriage using the same M3 fixings you took off at the beginning. Now connect the PTFE tube, remove the collet clip, press the tube into the hot end and then replace the clip. Then you can reattach the fan cover. You should be able to pull the wiring sleeve over the connectors. Now you need to tidy up your wiring. Use some cable ties to connect the Bowden tube to your wiring loom. You should add one immediately above and below the butt splice connectors as this will help you to strain relief the joint. Your printer's nozzle should be in exactly the same place as prior to the upgrade, which means you don't need to change anything in your firmware or even re-level your bed. However, you may need to adjust your Z position by a few microns to ensure you get the perfect first layer. That's it, all done. No firmware changes needed, no printed parts, and no need to even open up your mainboard housing. Did you find this video helpful? You can let us know by leaving a like or leaving us a comment. Let us know which upgrade guides you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.